What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the JRD Motorsports vlog. Uh, we are hard at work again. Uh, I think we may have found some of our engine issues. The engine was real sluggish on uh, Friday night opening night. So, I mean, we ran, we got up to 8th or ninth at one point, and uh, just the fact that we were doing that with a sluggish motor gives me great hope for when we uh, when we get this engine all fixed up, fixed up. I mean, it's only a 3-4 race old motor, but what do we got going on? We're just repairing the damage. We're too, it... we're too cheap to buy a new door, right? Yeah, and it's easier. We're just repairing the damage from uh, Friday night, and... Uh, just getting the race car back ready to run and uh, give it our best shot to put her in victory lane. All right, Frank's just tightening up the uh, last few bolts. We gotta get the side skirt on here, but this is our fixed door. Sponsor logos all still look perfect. The number, we might fix the vinyl there, but we're kind of getting rushed here now. So uh, we straightened it for the most part. She'll look good from far, but far from good. The fiberglass doors used to just take it just bend the the aluminum just crinkles so we may replace the door at some point but for this week that is that on a good note the engine sounds phenomenal and has eight cylinders working now so pretty happy about that or are you going to get you going to get it for the people well, we gotta show them. This, all right this this causes you to run on less than eight cylinders yeah Shame, shame on us for not checking that at the track when we knew there was an issue. We thought it was a carburetor issue. It definitely is not a carburetor issue. And, uh, yeah. It's working good. Yeah, sounds much better now. <laughs> Just got it all fired up. Got a, We put a new rad hose style on the top. We, uh, we had a swivel mount on the top of the intake. Um... So that the, the air the not the air hose the uh, the water line could uh, here James is gonna show you that too. So if you look here, that's what we had. We had one of those. So it blew apart inside here. It's just sitting in there now, but it blew apart inside, and then it caused the uh, the hose to actually blow off. So this little clip here I can't get off. Yeah, was inside the motor. Yeah, thankfully it was all there and everything. So that actually blew apart, blew right off the hose when when we were on the track. Uh, when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, hey, that hose should be on top of the motor. So that's what happened. We have now switched to a style that cannot do that. It's not on a swivel. It's all um, it's all done nicely. So if you have that on your race car, please take it off. I think Rick's going to be mad at me for using black rivets. No, he hates silver rivets, not black rivets. So we're okay. Okay. So all this, all we had to replace was there's a piece of aluminum angle iron that goes behind here that the body brakes all attached to. That's all we had to replace. We should fix some of the vinyl after, but... <laughs> The track has made the decision to run tonight with the uh, unfavorable forecast. Uh, when they made the decision, it was definitely looking clear, and then uh, they're still adamant they can get it in tonight, which I really appreciate. You know, we got the car out for practice and everything, and uh, shook it down. And I think we're I think we're in the right direction. I think we're in the ballpark again tonight after all of our issues are sorted out. The motor's running on all eight cylinders, and you know, hoses are all connected where they should be and everything. So, um, props to Delaware Speedway for trying to get the show in tonight. We got the OSS with us, so uh, cool to have a touring series with us tonight. Hopefully, they can get it in tonight so all those guys don't have to go home um where we end up in practice fifth sixth, something like that like we were approached we we're fifth we we're fifth in practice so uh leaps and bounds over last week the car is definitely fired on all the cylinders and uh i think we got her back back going the direction we needed we had really old tires on so 
I think we're uh, putting our race tires on and hopefully, hopefully going for a good night here. I think we roll off P7 in uh, the first heat race. So a little bit of work to do. We got to get to the top four for our invert and then we'll start top four in the features. So let's go racing, hopefully. Well, right now it's super stock racing, heat races for the super stocks. My understanding is that the V8 stocks and the uh, Super Sportsman Series is going to be lined up by times. Heat races for super stocks. ultimately did win the evening at Delaware Speedway but so did we we uh got a heat race win which is I'm getting eaten here which is quite the turnaround from last week uh, it's crazy what eight cylinders will do um you know we know we knew the car had it we knew the setup was great just uh something wasn't right so um the hoses stayed on the fittings all remained intact and uh we had power so everything worked um Really, really, really happy with the car. Just uh, fantastic for what we had tonight. You know, it was good in practice. And then we put race tires on it and she came alive even more and got the early lead in the heat race and took off. So um, happy with that. Sucks we couldn't get the feature in, but I really like that the track is keeping the heat race results. That's that's gonna move to June 2nd's our next race. And set her on a 50 lap for that night. They're gonna run twin 35s with the first 35 lapper being based on the heats from tonight. So. Not a waste. Still got half the night in. And they're still counting it and everything. So that's a that's a that's a one in the heat race win column. Um, definitely a good rebound from last week. So I'm really happy with it. But uh, can't thank everyone enough for their support. Every week we go to the racetrack and you know we hear a couple people or more than a couple say how much they love the vlog and stuff. So it really makes it worth it for us. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for us if you really do like it. Uh, the road to a thousand. I think we're almost at 700. So. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. Comment below. Let us know what you think of uh, what we're doing. Anything you'd like to see on the channel. 
And uh, we'll be back uh, one night this week with a shot video, hopefully, as we, uh, there's not really a whole lot to do when it's that good, but uh, we got some work to do. So we'll be back.